In a world of conflict, increasing technology, increasing health hazards, and more importantly, a growing population, what has become of paramount importance is one aspect, and that's safety. One might think of it as safety at home or outside, but really, there are so many different aspects of safety with all the different things I just listed out at the start. Each of them has their own nuance to safety, which is why we are here. This is really the battleground of safety, the World Cup of safety. And right now, we are in semi-final four of the National Safety Science Quiz 2017. This is where one final team goes ahead and enters the grand finale. And let's just bring to you who these five schools are with two contestants each from those schools. Let's start with the first. Cambridge Court High School, Jaipur, congratulations. Uh, my name is Nikun Sharma. Uh, I am of class 9th and on my right is Mayank Verma of class 9th. Alright, then we have DPS Bokaro. I am Pragyapan Basu and I am in class 11. And he is Aditya Raj. He is in class 9th. Okay, and we have Meridian School Kukatpali from Hyderabad. Go ahead. Uh, my name is Sahil and I am from grade 10. My name is Yashwant. I am from grade 9. And we also have, and they should actually get a round of applause because they are the defending champions. Please also welcome the Cheknad Vidyashram from Chennai. Go ahead. I am Harsh Yadav from, I'm in class 12. Yeah. Uh, I'm Aditya, I'm in class 12. Welcome Aditya. And we also have New Era Senior Secondary School from Vadodara. I'm Ria Panchal from class 9th. Right. And I'm Ruben George from class 10. So are we ready? to play that fourth semi-final, which will decide one of you will go to that grand finale. Three finalists have already been decided, all right? Let's now bring to you the rules. Five teams start with 200 safety points each. There are 10 questions in all. All questions will be on the buzzer. Three levels of gameplay, negative marking, will be there for all questions. Let's get started. This is the National Safety Science Quiz semi-final number four. In level one, a question will be asked. The team pressing the buzzer first will get to answer. You will have 10 seconds to answer. Plus 10 for a correct answer and minus 10 for an incorrect answer. The first question. In 2016, the government of India banned the usage of an additive in bread and other food products due to its carcinogenic nature. It contains a compound of potassium and fill in the blank. And we have Chetnard, the defending champions, already going with it. Go. Potassium bromate, a compound of potassium and bromine. I'm going to give you that. That's bromine. Thank you. Well done. Ten points for you. Just a little trivia for all of you. According to the Center for Science and Environment, or the CSE as it's known, potassium bromate typically increases dough strength, leads to higher rising and uniform finish to baked products. The CSE study had found that 84% of 38 commonly available brands of prepackaged breads, including pow and buns, the ones that you eat, tested positive for potassium bromate and potassium iodate. All right. So every time you have bread, think twice about that. All right. Question number two. It's an anagram. If you press the buzzer before the anagram appears, you must answer without the anagram. Okay. You will have 10 seconds to answer after you press the buzzer. Let's give you the statement first. A fatal condition defined by rapid irregular contractions of the heart muscles, electric currents above 100 milliamps are capable of causing this condition. What are we talking about? We have the buzzer from, again, the defending champions. Fibrillation. That is the right answer. 10 points. All right. Just a little trivia again. The heart is unable to pump blood adequately during ventricular fibrillation, which can lead to low blood pressure, loss of consciousness, or death. Dangerous aspect, huh? So it's important to understand. All right, 20 points for you in the first two questions. All right, this is question number three. You will have 10 seconds to answer, and let's bring that statement on for you. This is question number three. Identify this safety feature. It's a two-word term. It's a two-word term incorporated in cars to absorb the main force from an impact during a crash. The anagram comes on for you now. Crumple zone. He's got the right answer yet again. 
Well done. So crumpled zone is the correct answer. Well done there. First three questions, and we got three quick answers from one team. Chetanat with Ashram, the defending champions. Let's just bring you up to speed with where everyone stands. All right, so let's take a look at that scorecard. It's just the first stage of this semi-final. So it's not a big deal, but we have four teams which are still on 200, those safety points that we gave them to give them a head start. But Chetanat with Yashram Chennai, they have gone to 230. But remember, a lot can change very quickly. This is a different level. You had a level where each question was equal to 10 points, maximum that you could get. But now, it's all changing. We are going to the next level. This is level two on our semi-final. Picture will be shown for 10 to 20 seconds and then we wait for a team to press the buzzer. That team will have to answer two questions based on the picture. There will be 20 points which will be awarded to the correct answer. 10 points will be given for each part. 20 points will be deducted for an incorrect answer and 10 points will be deducted for a no answer or a wrong answer for a part. Let's bring out Question number four's first picture. All right, so you press the buzzer. Cambridge Court High School, Jaipur gets the opportunity. The first statement that's coming up, in which section of the hospital or medical research center are you likely to find this warning sign? And the second question, objects made from what material are used or unsafe to carry in such an... So objects made from iron. That is not the answer I'm looking for, but I'm going to let you just think about what you're saying because you're close. It's warm. Metal. That's right. Metallic objects. I'm going to give it to you. All right. The first one. Uh, that's near X-ray machines. The first answer you say is near X-ray machines. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not going to give it to you. I want to give an opportunity to the audience out here I am Tarun Rajkumar from Dhun Bharti Public School and its answer is MRI section. That's absolutely correct. MRI center is the right answer. We have somebody who's going to get a gift and I'm very happy to hear about that. All right. So you have one correct answer, one incorrect answer. So you get zero points. Okay. You remain at 200 points. All right. Now let's move on to the next question in level two. It's a similar situation. Again, a picture will appear. It's coming up now. This is question number five. Named after a common arachnid, these plants help in... Chetnad has already pressed the buzzer. They look a bit unsure. Let's bring on the questions. What are they called? Name any one of the volatile organic compounds that these plants filter. Um, first question, we think it's a spider plant. Okay. And second one, um, a formaldehyde. It's correct. So I was looking, I was getting suspicious because I wanted you to say xylene also. I was getting greedy, but you got formaldehyde, so I'll be happy with that. A spider plant. You've heard of air pollution these days? Yeah. You can cut it short. You can reduce the air pollution inside this room, for example, or your own houses with this kind of a plant. A spider plant finds its place in the list of air filtering plants compiled by NASA as part of a clean air study which suggested the use of common indoor plants as a natural way of removing toxic agents from the air. Indoor air pollution, this is one plant that can help. Okay, question number six, similar situation. Again, we'll have two statements this time, true or false, let's bring it on. Meridian School, Kukatpali, Hyderabad did not even see it. Okay, this is an Indian roundabout, just to be clear. The first statement, whether it's true or false, when approaching a roundabout, one must slow down and give way to traffic from the left. Uh, true. Incorrect. False is the right answer. Second statement. At roundabouts in India, the traffic moves in anti-clockwise direction. True or false? This one is false. Correct. So you don't lose any points, nor do you gain any. <laughs> okay. So let's now get a sense of where we stand, who's leading, who's not. Has any other team been able to catch up with the defending champions, Chetnad with Yashram, Chennai? Not really. Four teams still on 200 safety points, but Chetnad is on 250 points. They deserve a round of applause, don't they? <laughs> All right, so you've seen the scores, but the scores don't really matter because right after this short break, 
is the game changer question and questions that can give you as many as 50 points or take away as many as 50 points. It's all about whether you have nerves of steel or not. Right after this break, don't go anywhere.